All right, welcome back to Dwayne's Guitar Lessons in our second guitar build. And uh, we're now at the front of the guitar. So here's what it's going to look like, painted with fire. Now, this was done at the uh, art studio that I had talked to you in the last video about doing. I was going to actually show uh, doing the fire, but it didn't really come out exactly like with some stuff we had to go through. This was actually my teacher did this. Um, I was going to try to do some of the fire myself, but I'm not quite that good at doing it with an airbrush yet. So he just kind of showed me this and I shot some video with my phone. I just need to go through it and check it out. If I think it's good, I'll add it in here and uh, you can check out, actually watch him do that. Um, it's all done freehand, no stencils. And then what I'm going to do is paint the back as well. Okay, paint the back, just uh, do some stuff to it. Uh, probably put some flames on the side or something, but anyway, this is basically what the front's going to look like. And but before I do that, I need to uh, go ahead and clear coat the front. Okay, so I'm going to do that with this polyurethane. I was actually going to use a, you know, they, this comes in actually a, a spray as well. But um, he told me he thought it would be best to just kind of put it on by hand, the roller or a brush or something, just because. Um, some of those have solvents. We've got a couple different types of paint on here and we don't want it to lift any of the paint. So he told me he thought it'd be best to do it like this. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing here. Uh, basically I've got this is polyurethane and I'm just going to use this rubber brush here and I'm just going to paint it on there. Okay. And that way I'm just going to do the front for right now. So that way I can work on the the back. Well, once we get this clear coated, and I'm not really worried about it showing like the brush strokes because once I sand it, that won't be seen. Okay, so I'm just going to do the top here, the front, top of the guitar for right now. That way we can protect this paint job and then I can flip it over and start working on putting in the, the components, the, the volume pot, the tone pot, you know, things like that, the bridge on. Now this is probably going to take a few coats, I'm sure of it, and I don't have the capabilities, I don't have a big air compressor to spray it, uh, at least not right now. Maybe after selling a few guitars, I might be able to get an air compressor and and uh, actually spray it with like a air gun like they traditionally do. I just don't have the capabilities of doing that right now. So I'm just going to kind of work with uh, what I do have the capabilities of doing. Pretty uh, low tech operation or startup anyway, but it's going to get the job done. And this is going to look really nice when I get it all done. This is just the first part. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on here. And I just wanted to show you the process like before to show you the process of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And uh, then once it dries, then I'll wet sand it and it'll take out the brush strokes. I did this on my other guitar and it worked out really nice. Put on a nice hard glass finish. And so that's what's going to be the situation with this guitar is it's going to have this really nice glass finish. So what you do is you put a coat on there, you let it dry, you sand it, and then you put on another coat, let it dry, sand it, put on another coat, and you keep doing that, and that gives a lot of depth to the, uh, to the thing that you're coating, in this case, this guitar. So just wanted to show you a quick video of this real quick here. And uh, I've got some ideas for the back, what I'm going to do with that. Normally guitars don't have anything painted on the back. But um, I just wanted to do it because I think the back is going to make a really good um, canvas for some artwork. <coughs> probably do some more flames. I'll do some flames probably on the side or something. Uh, maybe do some in the back. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. But uh, I'll let you know when I get it done. So there we go, we got the first coat of clear on there right now. We'll just leave that on there, let that dry, and then sand it, and put on another coat. And meanwhile, it's doing that while it's drying like that. 
I will be thinking about uh, what I'm going to do with the rest of the guitar. So I wanted to either paint some flames up the side or leave it black. I'm not sure. I might leave the sides black and then maybe paint something on the back. That would be kind of cool looking. Or uh, I could leave the whole thing black in the back, but I don't really want to do that. I want to go the extra mile and do something that's just really cool. Like I said, most guitars don't have anything on the backs. Even some of the ones that are painted on the front don't have anything on the back. So we just have to, uh, you know, want to go the extra mile. And the back makes a good canvas. The front makes good canvas too, but this particular guitar is going to have the pick guard that's going to cover a lot of this stuff up. And then by the time you put the bridge and the saddle, and all that you really have is maybe right here. So I decided to go with the flames for that purpose, like I mentioned before. So go ahead and leave this on here like this. And uh, here we go. So that's what it's going to look like. Nice. It'll be nice and shiny when it gets all dry and I'll wet sand it and then put another coat on there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're learning something. And uh, like always, if you like the video, please like it down at the bottom there. If you have a comment, go ahead and leave me one. If you have any questions, you can contact me or leave a comment and I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll try to answer it. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments section below and I'll answer it the best I can. Um, I think this turned out really cool on the front. The idea is to make it that cool on the back. So, and take care, and I will see you on our next video. Thank you very much.